So there's this Instagram art page that basically re-uploads art tips and a lot of them are low-key weird. So let's review slash roast them real quick. Hair drawing tips by Mitt Matt. Hmm. Interesting. The left one is straight and artificial and the right one is soft curvature. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do straight hair people not exist anymore? These are both right, okay? Just because you added fancy shading on the right doesn't make this wrong. To be fair, this is kind of better though. 3 out of 10. Next. Buy super rice beam okay why don't put the mouth in there please what the what the heck is that creature can you guys imagine if a dog actually looked like that hashtag anthropomorphism am i right published by uximate i ain't reading that elegant strong horrified angry bro what what does bro even mean they literally all look the same though they all have the billy eilish expression real okay this page tagged me here credits coolin bro i did not make this the heck is this it looks like a cat sticking out his tongue Sticking out your gap for the riz look. Oh my gosh, I need help. Okay, so according to this tip, in order to draw hot chiseled daddy abs, we need to draw this cat thing first. Okay, honestly, I am highly skeptical of this because obviously this might not work in all angles. So let's go ahead and try this on a different angle. So I'm gonna draw a circle and then this L thing. Okay, now we draw the nipples. And then cat ears, bro. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the nose and then the gigantic tongue for the abs. Okay, I'm gonna try a slightly different angle. Let's see if this works. So for this part, I'm gonna draw the guy facing the three-fourth angle because obviously this isn't gonna work on the side view angle. Okay, wait, let's draw the face real quick. Ah, smegzy. Okay, so so far I was able to draw the body following the cat guidelines. Not bad, not bad. Let the furries cook. Okay, so we now have this initial sketch. I think it doesn't look that bad. So I'm gonna yesify it even more and then I'm cleaning it up. And now let's color. For this part, I'm just gonna add the shadows, aka the darkest shade, and then add the second and darker shade. Okay, this is how I contour the ad. I literally just use the lasso tool and the airbrush. Bro, this works wonders. Anyway, holy crap, you guys. This dumb cat trick actually worked. I really didn't expect it to work, especially for a different angle, but do I recommend it? I mean, sure, you sick furry. Okay, I gotta admit, it's not that useful. If you're just a little baby beginner, you wanna use this trick, you have to at least know what you're doing. In other words, it's gimmicky av. So anyway, my final rating for this is 6 out of 10. Not entirely that helpful. This is something you do for the meme. Next, this tweet by Aboksha. Drawing with my limbs. Meow. Right hand. Left hand. Left foot. And... What the? Right foot? How the hell did you draw that with your right foot? Proof or it didn't happen. Send me 4k footage of your right foot drawing or it's cap. Step 1. Draw among us. Step 2. Form your booba. Oh, Huh? Step 3. Add some detail. Step 4. Render the booba. Uh, what? How did we go from among us to booba? This is so stupid. 11 out of 10. This post by Succubot Art. Well, I mean, at least the username is appropriate. Oh my gosh. Not again. Negative 10 out of 10. Ijuku. Reasons for not being able to draw face as well. It's because I get too focused on doing the face and it ends up looking bloated. Okay, yeah. Yes, indeed, the right one does look a little better. But also, she has a massive five head going on. Can you imagine her without bangs? Okay, we're gonna try the triangle method on my character. So let's just draw the triangle real quick and then the face real quick and then the mouth. Oh, hell no. She looks like Kumon. I'm gonna have to bring the mouth a little more upwards. Yeah, that's better. Heck yeah. Okay, now let's try it on her. So I'm gonna draw a triangle. Make sure there's still a gap between the triangle and the face shape to avoid bloatedness. Bro literally looks like a Roblox character though. Done. Okay, uh, her face looks too small. I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit. Okay, it's not a bad tip. 6 out of 10. Next. Okay, here's a new lip tutorial by Kaizen Teisyoku. Ooh la la juicy lips. Let's try it out. Okay, so first we're gonna add a base color like so and then blend it out. Then we're gonna add a deeper color in the inner part and blend it out as well. Lastly, we're gonna add the juicy highlights and the end result. Nah, I don't like it. Her lips ended up looking too small, so heck nah. So what I like to do instead is just use the airbrush and literally just use a soft eraser to shape it like so. And then add the darker color in the inner part. And lastly, just add the juicy highlight on the cupid's bow and on the bottom lips. See, a lot of people underestimate the fact that the juicy highlights make or break your drawing. Next. 
How I draw on paper versus on tablet. Hmm. I'm kind of the opposite though. I do not know how to draw on paper, bro. Starry C666 says, When I'm struggling to understand a reference, I try to look at the negative space instead of the image itself, if that makes sense. It helped me when I revisited this drawing a few months later. Okay, I have seen this a million times and it's still true app. Literally just break down your drawing into simple shapes like this. This one is by Shika Wolf. How I draw eyes. Oh my gosh, what in the spikiness? Those eyes could pierce my soul. Get it? Because spiky? Okay, I'll stop. So I'm gonna test out their tutorial real quick. Step 1. Legit any lemon shape. Also imagine you are putting eyeliner on it. Did I do it right? Okay, so we're just gonna draw a lemon and then add a wing or something. Step 2. Detail plus eye and clean up. Okay, we're gonna add the eye fold and then the iris or whatever. Step 3. Eyelashes. The tips of the lashes have less opacity. Holy cow, that is a really good brush. Oh my gosh, bro. My brush cannot do that. It low-key sucks. My brush is not brushing, guys. Uh, I don't care. Step 4. Color. The white smith of the eye is never pure white. Okay, but why does your eye literally have the same color as the skin. They're both kind of orange-ish. Bro got jaundice or something? Teehee, let's just color real quick. And then I'm gonna use liquify to correct the form. Step 5. Shade, highlights, and outline color. Wait a second. Wait a second, what the heck? I think we missed 500 steps, guys. How did we go from here to here? Bro. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just gonna copy paste the colors. I added the shadows and then changed the outline colors. And I think I got it close-ish. Step six, extra details painted over. Okay, that is basically code word for add juicy highlights. So I'm just adding highlights at the inner corner and on the eyelids. And then this last bit, I'm just trying to make my drawing less crappy. Overall, this is a pretty good style, though I prefer a smoother style. I rate it eight out of 10. Next, Art Tutorial by Bo Nessaw. Art Tutorial? What the hell is this? Free glue brush pack for Procreate by Atkey Art. Glue brush pack? Who the hell needs that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Illus Mimi says, These art tutorials scare me. Female. Rounder. Big eyes. Small nose. Male. Smaller eyes. Longer nose. It's just like my tutorials for real. But to be fair, these kind of work in reverse too. Like this can be the face of a girl too. And this could be the face of a twink. Oh, okay. Another booba tutorial. So apparently this is wrong and this is right. Very accurate. Yeah, uh, this looks more like a hoo-ha. Okay. Okay, lastly guys, I saw these Instagram tips on a page that re other people's tutorials, including mine. Okay, I have no idea if they ask for permission to re-upload, because they sure as hell didn't ask me. So, guys, please feel free to check out the original artists that are accredited. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.